Dear Carmen, welcome Hello. to the new session of some summer session of Monday Boost with Carmen. And uh, I know that last time you mentioned that you you liked very much the Stoics in, in the high school time. And um, I'm happy to tell you that I prepared some Stoic codes for today. Um, absolutely. Um... You, you know, it's it's very strange to to say that is like initial. It's like almost in life, if you allow yourself to express your uh, real preferences, right? Uh, these are the ones that will define you, right? So, just one more comment here. When I uh, was in the high school, first I loved the Stoics and I still love them. And I, it's absolutely impressive for me what they, they were thinking. And second thing that I was uh, really deeply, I would say interested in was the psychology, right? And uh, I wanted to become a doctor, psychiatrist, which was something in that direction. <laughs> and, um, and then I end up uh, doing coaching, which is not psychiatry, which is not psychotherapy, which is not, but is still in the same direction, which is interested in people, interested in helping them to, let's say, function better. So um, it, that is to say that Stoics and uh, human behavior is something that was signaled in my uh, youth very soon, and I'm still there. I'm still there with that preference. So let's hear the quotes. Thanks for sharing, the, for sharing this. I'm sure that many of our uh, community members uh, enjoy reading from the Stoics. And that's why I will start with a, a very profound quote uh, by Epictetus. And who is then invisible? The one who cannot be upset by anything outside their reasoned choice. Could you please explain this? Um, to us, maybe with the, with the um, uh, current scenario? You know, it's, uh, it's amazing. What comes to my mind immediately is a situation that I was uh, reading about uh, Mandela. And uh, Mandela was, so now this situation happens when he was already president. And uh, so he was eating in a restaurant, uh, well, a taverne with his... Uh, uh, bodyguards and next to their table was another man eating right and uh, and Mandela said to his bodyguards invite him to our table right and then he came and uh, without the how say the courage to look at Mandela or to look at the others he was eating trembling right so trembling at the table throughout his eating whatever portion he had, and then he left. And the bodyguards said to Mandela, I think that he's very sick or ill or has, has health problems because he was trembling all the time. And Mandela said, no, he is the, the one who, I say, uh, um, when I was prisoner, he kind of mistreated me, right? He was the prison warden, the prison garden. And, um, and so now, obviously, he expected me to take revenge. But I did not, because this is not who I am, right? So now coming back to Epictetus is what he says is that the decision is your decision, is your reason choice, and you are not upset or determined by the outside situations. So this is a superb example of uh, Mandela who did or behaved or reacted in the way he considered right for him and was not influenced right, by the behavior, past behavior of that person. And in that respect, he was the one that uh, won, let's say, or was invincible in the sense that was invincible by external circumstances because his own decision, his own choice 
was the one who dictated his behavior. This was a superb example. I uh, cannot add anything more. But what, the, what it comes to my mind is that uh, Mandela was proactive. He didn't react to the past, how he was uh, treated in the past, but he, yes. he didn't want to be harm, uh, to harm the other and he was proactive in, in doing a good uh, deed. Well, I would say, uh, yes, it's correct that he was not reactive in the sense react to external circumstances. He was proactive in the sense reacting to his own internal decision and choices. And now, let just to go towards um, my coaching practice, what is happening with my clients is uh, that I highlight this ability to either react to external circumstances or proactively determine them. And obviously our choice is first to uh, design the, the way we react, uh, sorry, not react, the, the way we act, to design, to decide, to uh, let's say propose this behavior and not be subject to a reaction when sometimes this reaction, not to mention that it will not be uh, whatever well thought through or wise enough or at the end of the day not our interest but yeah. let's close uh, let's close with uh, Mandela acting from choice and not uh, from uh, let's say the outside uh, um, situation or outside determination and uh, uh, let's hope that we can introduce this in our personal and professional life since uh, both situations we would like to have the same attitude. Yes, and, and I'm sure it requires a lot of uh, work and training to, to, to be able to, to act as Mandela did. Um, Carmen, thank you very much for your for first uh, uh, episode of the summer series and I'm looking forward to, to seeing you next month. Next month.